Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the newly launched improved Minecraft launcher. So some of you might have tried to launch your Minecraft Java launcher recently and you may have seen this message at the bottom left here that says there is a new improved launcher, download it now. So I'm now going to show you guys how to download and install the new Minecraft Java launcher for Windows 10 and Windows 11 and then I'm going to show you guys how to set everything up, how to create a desktop shortcut for the new Minecraft launcher. I'm also going to show you guys how to install and play your existing mods in the new Minecraft launcher for Minecraft the Java edition. So if you guys did have stuff installed like Iris Shaders, Optifine, Fabric or Forge then I'm going to show you guys how to easily install that on the newly installed Minecraft launcher. So I've actually recorded myself installing the new Minecraft launcher so I'm going to play that clip now and once that clip has finished I'm going to show you guys how to create the shortcut, how to to set up all the mods and how to actually uninstall the previous Minecraft old launcher if you want to do that as well. Alright, so once your installation has finished for the new Minecraft launcher, if you click on the back key over here and go back to the main Xbox app and then on the left hand side here you will see a Minecraft icon. So just click on the Minecraft launcher icon over here then you will see something that looks like this. You can also create your desktop shortcut by right clicking on this small icon over here and then clicking this bit that says create desktop shortcut. If you don't want to do that you want to actually pin it to your taskbar. So if you are on Windows 11 for example if you click on the start icon over here and if you look for where it says type here to search and I am on Windows Windows 11 as you guys can see and you should be able to do this on Windows 10 as well so just search for Minecraft on there and you should see the new Minecraft launcher icon appear so the Minecraft launcher the new Minecraft launcher the icon looks something like this and it's different to the old Minecraft launcher which looks something like this so to actually pin that to your start bar and to your taskbar you just right click on this bit here and then click on pin to start and then do that again and then do pin to taskbar so now we have it on our taskbar as well so you can quickly launch it from there and if I go to the start bar again and scroll down you will see that I do have the Minecraft launcher on here as well so I can launch it from there I can also launch it from my desktop so as you guys can see I now have the new Minecraft launcher on my desktop here and now I can just double click on this and it should open up the new Minecraft launcher so let's wait for that to now load up and let's take a look at the new Minecraft launcher and what it looks like. You will notice that it looks actually practically the same as the previous Minecraft launcher. You won't notice any differences. However, this is a new updated version. When you click on installations, you will notice that all of your previous mod installations would have disappeared. So they won't be here. So don't worry about that. To actually get them back, if you have installed Optifine or Forge or Fabric in the past, then all you would need to do is click on new installation over here and then search for the version. So if you click on version over here, you can actually find all of your previous loaders here. So you can see I've got Fabric Loader, I've got Optifine, I've got the Forge as well over here as you guys can see. So I'm going to quickly install this Fabric Loader because I reinstalled that recently and that should include Iris Shaders as well. So I'm just going to quickly call that Fabric on there and I'm going to click on create and that should actually create the installation for fabric so if you guys have actually installed mods previously on the old launcher then this is a way to actually install it on the new launcher if you guys do actually install a mod completely fresh 
For example, if you are installing Optifine for the first time, it may not appear on here. And to get it to work, you would have to click on a new installation and then you can find it on the drop down like I'm showing you here and then give it a name and then click on create and then you can launch it from there. So if we click on play, this should actually launch the game with Fabric installed. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's wait for the game to load up. And I believe this actually has Iris shaders installed as well. So I'm gonna go into my video settings to show you guys that Iris shaders is working as well. So let's wait for this now to load up. All right, so as you guys can see, it's now launched the new game which we installed fabric on and as you guys can see at the bottom left here it does say minecraft 1.17.1 fabric and this is through the newly launched minecraft launcher and if i click on options i can go to video settings and you can see i've got sodium installed here and i've got the shader packs options here and that what that means is that i can actually play the game with shaders and this is actually iris shaders so now i can actually launch the game and play the game via the new minecraft launcher let me just close this down and let me quit out of this also going to quickly show you guys how to download and install a mod loader for the newly installed Minecraft launcher. So just assume that you've installed the Minecraft launcher and you want to install something like Forge, Optifine, Iris Shaders or Fabric. So let's go ahead and for this example, let's go ahead and actually download and install Forge. So just search for Forge in our search bar. Let's go to the main Minecraft Forge website and I'm going to get the latest installer for Forge. I'm going to click on the installer button here. Let's just wait for the links to generate and I'm going to click on the skip button here and that should start the download. Let's wait for that to now finish. All right, so Forge has finished downloading. So now we can actually go ahead and install it. So I've already got the latest version of Java JDK 17 installed. And now I can actually right click on the jar file for the Forge installer. I can click on open with and I can select Java platform SE binary. If you guys don't have that option available or you have any problems installing a jar file, do leave them in the comment section below. I will navigate and guide you to the correct video on how to do that. So I'm going to click on this link here and that should open up the Forge installer. So let's wait for that to now load up. All right, so as you guys can see, it's now loaded the Forge installer. So just leave everything as it is. We can just basically leave all the default settings as they are because we have got Minecraft installed. I'm going to click on OK and making sure it says install client and it should basically start the installation for Forge. So let me just wait for that to now finish. All right, so as you guys can see, it now says a successfully installed client profile Forge 4 version 1.17.1. And this is the Forge version 37.0.104. Okay, I'm going to click on OK to close that down. We can now get rid of the Forge installer. We can now go back into our Minecraft new launcher and have a look. Now, in the past, it would have showed up on the launcher at the bottom left there. And it would have also showed up in the installations section. So don't worry if you guys aren't seeing that in the installation section we can actually go ahead and install it quickly on there as well so once the new launcher does actually load up at the bottom left here you will see a drop down you will notice that it's not actually showing me forge on here and if I click on installation it's not showing me forge on here either but when I click on new installation over here click on the button that says new installation and in the version section on the drop down you will be able to select the newly installed forge so you guys can see that I can actually you select this bit here that says release 1.17.1 forge 37.0.104 which is the version that we just installed so let me go ahead and actually call this forge i'm going to click on create over here and that's going to create a installation for forge over here we can actually go and click on these three icons click on edit and click on more options and i can actually allocate more ram to it if i wanted to do that let's go ahead and allocate four gigs of ram to it by changing the two into four over here as you guys can see let's click on save and now i can actually launch the game using the forge mod loader so i'm going to click on play and let's wait for that to now load up the game with forge installed all right as you guys can see it's now loaded up the game with hopefully forge showing i did have some fabric mods in the mods folder so i had to delete them and that is not going to cause me any problems anymore so if you guys do have any fabric mods in your mods folder and if you are installing forge do make sure you get rid of them otherwise you might come up with a 
error message on your system as well. So as you guys can see, it does say forwards beta over here and it says forwards 37.0.104 and I've got a mods button here. I haven't actually got any mods installed, but we do know that forwards is working and I have used the new Minecraft launcher to actually launch the game with the forwards installed like I just showed you. Now you guys might actually have the old launcher still installed on your system and to actually get that uninstalled you would have to click on start and go to settings and then click on apps over here and this is on Windows 11. It may be slightly different on Windows 10 but the function should be fairly the same. If you click on apps and features over here and then now we're going to search for a Minecraft. Now this is quite important that you do look for the old launcher. So as you guys can see I've got the old Minecraft launcher over here and this is the new one you can tell from the icons and ignore the top one there that is the Microsoft Windows 10 launcher for the Minecraft Bedrock version of the game. So what we need to do now is to uninstall the previous launcher and to do that I'm going to click on the three dots here against this icon and I'm going to click on uninstall and it's going to say this app and its related info will be uninstalled so you click on it uninstall and that should basically get rid of the old launcher for you. As you guys can see, it's now taken off the old Minecraft launcher. If I close this down, you can see that I've still got the new Minecraft launcher on my desktop there. And I've got it on my taskbar. And if I click on start, I've got it on my start bar there as well. If we go back into the Xbox app, we will also have it on this section here. And you can also go and use the Xbox app to launch Minecraft from here. But I would just recommend to just create your shortcut on your desktop and just launch the game from there and it should work as fine like we have done in the past hopefully this video would have helped you guys so if you guys have noticed that you have got that message about upgrading your default minecraft java launcher to the new minecraft launcher so hopefully this video would have helped you do that so for those of you who have been wondering how do i upgrade to the new minecraft launcher and uh, this is the 2021 version hopefully this video would have helped you out if it has helped you do give it a like if you guys did have any problems installing the new launcher if you have any problems uninstalling the old launcher or getting any of the mods working then do leave them in the comment section below i will do my best to try and help you guys out and also please do subscribe to this channel to help support it help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching